So this is really, really cool. So we're driving down the highway. We are on our road from Michigan to SEMA. We're hauling a couple of the Quadratec builds for SEMA. And uh, we had to stop at this military vehicle museum. And this is super cool. This is an Arctic Cab M38. So this is actually the very first Arctic Cab I've ever seen. This cab, I opened it up, it's fully insulated um, on an M38, very, very cool. They said they restored this in 2000, um, 2000, 2001, and it was a Navy vehicle, and I think it's absolutely spectacular. Check this out, here's another Willys, another. All the half tracks, we're surrounded by half tracks. Uh, I mean, there's just so many amazing vehicles at this museum, it's really cool. Come on. Got a mighty might. We've got mutts aplenty. There's another uh, M38 back there. I mean, they're just everywhere. We found a really cool one over here that you definitely need to see. More M38s, more... I mean, they're just everywhere. But check out this mule. So, beautiful mule, actually with a 106 millimeter recoilless rifle. And then the really fun part that some people don't know, this recoilless rifle, on top of it, this is your sighting rifle, and it's a 50 caliber sighting rifle. So you take a shot with that, it makes a little pop, and then you know where this one's gonna hit. So instead of using a normal scope, a sighting rifle. Pretty cool. I wish there was a 50 cal, but this is the round that goes inside of this. Mm-hmm. You could get lost in here for days, but check this one out. This one's really cool. It's a little bit longer than your average. So this is an M170 Jeep ambulance. So it's lengthened 20 inches above the normal Jeep. So it's 20 inches longer. And it's on the M38A1 chassis. So again, we find more mules floating around. Um, beautiful trailers, another recoilless rifle, and something pretty cool is behind me. This is the original, one of the original Humvee prototypes. So this is what they originally were going to kind of look like. So that's a prototype. Next to it is an actual Humvee that we're all familiar with. Now I'm kind of a fan of this one over here. So it's a mild up armored half track, but if you see on top, it has four levels of diplomacy. Right, so that's four 50 calibers um, on a turret, and that'll throw out some lead. There we go, power, power wagons are plenty. <clears throat> Got some helicopters, there's another M715 in the back. It's a beautiful Jeep truck. Uh, that's the second one I believe I've seen in the vehicle that's just an M715. Well, so there was an M715 ambulance in one of the other rooms. But so people who think that the Gladiator was the first Jeep truck, uh, M715 Jeep truck. And this one's probably, I don't know what year it is, but my guess is 60s, I think 60s, early 70s. This one's a 1967. I like the Willys next to it. That's an armored Willys. So this one is armored Jeep. So we're put together in Korea in 1952. So this is this one's a replica. This one wasn't actually in Korea. It says right on the thing. But this is what the uh, the guys would do to armor up their Willys. <laughs> Oh, there's another M715 right there. 
I didn't even see it because we saw it from the back end. Look at that cargo. Or like toolbox type. Yeah, they did them in lots of different configurations. Um, this one might be a radio box. I don't know all of the particulars. I know enough to be mildly dangerous. Or it's a generator. M37 weapons carrier, three quarter ton weapons carrier. Four GTB half ton four by four cargo carrier. Never seen one of those before. Look, I'm in a tank. It's a tank and I get to get in it. There's surprisingly a lot of seats in this tank. Get to the driver's seat there, Liam. Let's go. I'm in a tank. Look at me. The most powerful person in the room. You'll have to listen to what I say now. I have that. And I have a bigger one. A bigger what? A bigger boomstick. No, that that's the main boomstick. That's it. Yeah. That'll work. That'll do the trick. Here. It's got it's got a bunch of mortar chugs right behind you. Oh, that'll do it. All right here. I'm gonna go up into the turret. <laughs> This is where I belong. Oh yeah. Now that pod to your left right there, that's for rockets. This is rockets? Yeah. This is something else. I like it. You need one? You want to take one home? Yeah. We can take this one home. Welcome to my office. This is where we make things smaller or less put together. Hold on here. That's where the the stuff goes that makes the things smaller. See? It's, you're protected behind this little rag, I guess. You got a little controller so you can play flight simulator when you get bored. You got whatever that is. See here's a diagram. Um, I got a little joystick right here. Don't know what that does either. But if you look in here, I bet you can find where the bad guys are. And yeah. Light another one of those. Night sight, day sight, day sight. Yeah. 
So I have to say, this is a fan of mine, and I know it's not Jeep related, but this is a Sherman Tank engine. It's a Ford V8, and it is 1,100 cubic inch displacement. It's cool. So there's a couple more we saw out here when we first walked in to the Heartland Museum of Military Vehicles. I mean, just every room you walk in, there's more and more and more. You know, this is pretty cool. I'm seven snow tractor. It's not a Jeep, but it's still pretty cool. Right behind you, look at the scooter. <laughs> it's a cool scooter. And if I may or may not be perfectly correct without looking at the sign, I think that's a paratrooper scooter. They used to, yep, airborne Ford scooter. Cushman Model 53. Every room, there's more. So this one's a 1942 slat grill. Uh, there's about 4,000 of these manufactured. And this is one of the first. So this is what turned into the Jeep that you're driving today.